For those of you who don't know, my name is Buster B. Jones. Uh, they were totally unaware they were letting the hillbilly in here, and uh, and now they just don't know what to do with me. So I have my own security team. Uh, they all around me. But I'm a guitar picker, and um, I come down here on behalf of two of my dear friends who I think are some of the finest luthiers I've ever seen in my life. This guitar's done feedback. You keep playing whatever button you're touching. Just thought I'd point that out. It's still going to feed back. I've been doing this 40 years. I can feel it. That's good enough right there, son. <laughs> Thank you. But I came down for Harvey Leach, who I think is a brilliant guitar builder, and I came down for Michael Keller, who's standing right back here, by the way. I'd like to point him out. Michael is the first luthier that I met that uh, I actually liked and built a brilliant instrument. You know, um, if you play for many years, years as I have, you look for something really, really good that feels good to you, makes your soul come out. And boy, he sure can do it. So, uh, Mike, I tip my hat to you, pal, uh, and I'm glad to see you again. And, I love to hear stuff like that. It makes me feel good. So I'm going to play some old standards today, and uh, a little bit later here I'm going to go downstairs, and uh, they're going to give me a full half-hour set. They told me it was 20 minutes. I said, that's a half-hour where I come from, and because it is going to be whether they like it or not. And I'm on a flat boogie, so if you want to hear some boogie, go down there. But right now I'm going to be kind of easy on this. This thing got more inlay than China. <laughs> oh yeah, this belong, what, this is Henry's, right? Yeah, it's like a thirty thousand dollar guitar, and and uh, they let me just wail the beat the hell out of it, and I think that's cool because I don't have to pay for it. <laughs> But I want to play, uh, I think, the first song I ever fell in love with, and it was called I'll See You in My Dreams. It's an old Merle Travis tune. Don't you touch them buttons. I'm looking at you, son. This is old school. Y'all come in and sit down. I get better from here on out. You know what you need to do for us visually impaired people on the seventh fret? Just put something really big and sparkly. Then I'll know we're halfway up and down this thing is. Because I can't see these little dots. <laughs> I didn't know I got that old. Uh, what was I going to do? I was going to be good. I just can't remember what it was. I asked to play a whole bunch of different songs. Uh, this is just, hey, Mike, this is just a play, right? I don't have to teach nothing, right? 
All right, what do you want? Fast, slow, buggy, cooking? What do you Paradox of Paradox of Something, Jerry, Jerry Reed. Yeah. Just tune in. I think I'm all right. Tell me which one, I'll buy you then. fun things to do on a guitar is, I was telling, I did a, a little teaching thing the other day, and I'm going to do one tomorrow. It's the one I'm doing tomorrow, uh, if you really want to learn, it's a very serious class. It's not about me playing, it's about me showing you how I play and why. But it's fun to do two things at the same time, or three things, and just because it screws with people's heads, and that's just a lot of fun. And I do it because I can. <clears throat> And I was over in France, and I, it was the first time I'd ever been to France, and they were paying me, and I liked the whole idea of that thing. So I wanted to do something cool, so I got to thinking to myself, how do I impress them? <coughs> I came up with this. Where the hell are you going? Well, oh, I know where you're going. I can tell by the way you're walking. There's the other guys are. All right, then, here we go. Listen to this now. I thought, man, cool if there was two of me. I did a good thing. <laughs> 